welcome back. Right, so where we're at with Apex is season two has been announced, but there's also a special limited time and mode on for season one, the ending. And if you're quick enough to buy a battle pass, you could probably get a good good portion of it completed. So what we'll do is we'll get into all the season one stuff first, and then in the second half of the video we'll cover season two and all the little goodies that are coming. Boop, boop. So let's get into it. The hunt is upon us. Prepare yourself. The legendary hunt has begun. Legends can compete to enter an all new Apex Elite queue, complete challenges for exclusive cosmetics. I could do this all day. Earn XP and battle pass boosts, and find all new exclusive skins in the in game store. Only the strong Vilvina and Slotra. For a limited time, Legends who place in the top five of any match will earn the right to join the Apex Elite queue. I need some help over here. Solid copy. There, they will have the opportunity to test their skills I need some ammo. against the most talented Legends in the game. One more. A Legend's true test is from within. Additionally, Legends can complete Legendary Hunt challenges to earn rewards like the epic Master of the Hunt Bloodhound, the Wolfpack G7, Not your day. I won this one. and hunt down two wins to score the exclusive legendary Tamed Beast triple take. Trust in the gods and you shall be rewarded. Opening fire. Got him. During the event, all Battle Pass owners will receive the free legendary Honored Prey R301. Hit level 15 on your Battle Pass and you'll also earn the legendary Night Terror Wraith. You know what I look like. Come find me. Every day, Legends can also earn an entire Battle Pass level for your first top five finish of the day. Thank you for the fun fight. And we're doubling down with our first ever Double XP Weekend. One moment. From June 7th to June 9th, earn double XP on both your base and Battle Pass progression. Our destiny has led us to this moment. Throughout the event, be sure to keep an eye on the rotating store for new exclusive legendary hunt cosmetics. The sky has opened and gifted the day. Squat up and drop in, as the legendary hunt won't last forever. Good luck, legends. Let the hunt begin. Okay, so as you saw in that video, there's the legendary hunt event that's on just now. That's not my video. I'm not taking response copyright for that. Uh, that's basically the presentation that was put at E3, and if you want to watch the full video, you can find that in the link below. Okay, uh, I'm just doing a abbreviated cut down version so it's quick. You know what's coming. Let's get it Apex Legends Season 2 Battle Charge is what it's called. So that's what's been announced as, and it will be released on July the 2nd. And there'll be a new legend, there'll be a new weapon, and a new way to play the game. And what they mean by that is the new legend will give you an added bonus to playing the game. Okay, so one of the biggest content updates for this season is meant to be a live event. And I'm going to show you something right now. Boom. Ooh, is there going to be a monster in this as well? So they're, they're trying. As far as I can see from their presentation and all the stuff I saw, which I'm going to show in the video just in the next minute, they are trying. They're trying to keep up with the content, but they're not as big as Epic. And they're not, I don't think they're trying to copy them, I think that's the whole point, they don't want to copy just chucking out updates, chucking out content, because as you can see from Fortnite, it doesn't always work, and you can piss off your community just doing that as much as what they've done is taking your time, so they're doing it their way, and we'll see, what, see what's to come. I have good hopes for it, I like the game and always have, so yeah, it's brought me back, working, they're doing their job. Just give them the benefit of the doubt and see if they'll bring this season two to the rival Fortnite season two. There's, I said there was a new legend coming. There's a new weapon coming as well called the L Star. Okay, and I'm just gonna bring it up on screen just now. Just, boom, there it is. Okay, so now this thing's an EM, an e, a plasma fueled EMG ammo type experimental L Star rarity gold, and it's only available from supply drops. So you'll get it like the uh, the master for the Kraber. Um, and what ammo you get with it is the ammo that that's it, that's all you get. Here's I'm going to roll a wee clip that they made up. Here it is. 
This thing is OP as sh sugar. Care package touching down. They usually carry rare platforms. Elves down here. I am taking fire, friends. I bathe in the blue. Your ignorance meets your end. I need help. Good job, me. A new season. Strong work. Hostile over there. Frag out. We can't. Making contact with enemy. Accept it. I'm here. You're not. Like I said, OP. So, next thing up on the list, I don't know if you noticed in that video, but it bursts open doors. This gun bursts open doors. So if that's not OP enough, I don't know what is. Okay, so as well as a new weapon, as you can see the L-Star was sick, it's OP. I can't wait to reuse it, see what it's like. Anyway, there's other things coming. We've got new legendary skins. The first up of which I've got a good picture of is Caustic, and it's called the Prince of Darkness. And you'll see that it's sick. It's mint. I've done a good job of the, the skins. Like, um, the next thing we've got is there is a Jade Tiger uh, skin coming, but I couldn't find a picture for this for Octane. So you can imagine what that will be like. It'll be along the same, similar lines as this. Um, and then we've got the Intimidator for the Spitfire. Now I tried my best, my, I mean my absolute best, to try and find a better photo, but this is all we have. There's a screenshot from the E3 uh, event. And that screenshot is of a screen inside the screen smaller, so it's that's really bad quality, but you can still get the just that skin's gonna be sick as well. Okay, so the next thing we're going to look at is R301 skin. Again sick. This one's called the Iron Rampage. Um, and these are all gonna be available on the battle pass, so you're not gonna have to pay for these. These will be free as long as you buy the battle pass. Okay, so they did give us a bit of details on what's gonna be in the rank play. Okay, so the ranked mode is coming. You can progress through six tiers if you've got what it takes, from bronze all the way up to Apex Predator. And at the end of the season, you'll be rewarded for whatever status you've ended ended your season on. So if you've got good stats by the end of the season, who knows what you'll get? Because that's all up to them, and they're not really went into full details about that. That's all they've told me, and that's all I know about it. Okay, so just we're done with this video, but try to record it in the house with four kids. And easy. I'm trying to get quiet audio. Oh my god! Now, the only thing we've not covered is the new character. Now, the new character is called Watson, and she looks like this. There you go. This is Watson. You know, we're going to play a little video that introduces who Watson is and what she does. Dearest Natalie, as I write this letter, it's the middle of the night in late summer. An hour ago, you cracked the equations necessary to power the force field. You showed me up tonight, my magnificent daughter, and I couldn't be happier or prouder of that. I always knew you were special, but never did I fathom that the little girl who taught her stuffed nacy multiplication tables would grow up to master quantum laser mechanics. I have assured the Syndicate that the modified containment force field will be operational in a month's time, and it's all thanks to you. I may be just a doddering old fool trying to hold on to Mombe Bay a little while longer before he loses her to a daughter. But I do see you. I see the strong, brilliant, wonderful young woman you've become. And I know when the day comes that I'm no longer with you, you are going to be just fine. The games will be brilliant because you are brilliant. My daughter can and will do anything she wants in this life because she is the smartest woman in the frontier. Je t'aime de tout mon cœur, pour toujours, papa. I did it, Papa. I hope wherever you are, you're cheering for me.
Okay, so as you saw that Watson is a some sort of scientist and she was born in the arena. Um and that's about all I know from that video. Um they do go to a full explanation in the in the presentation. So like I said, if you want to find out more information, you can find that in the video below in the in the description. Okay, but for now we're gonna look at our abilities. Uh, now I could go through the abilities, but you'll probably get confused. I'd probably get confused, so what we're going to do is just watch the clip where the guy explains it and shows you at the same time, or roll the clip. So the the Watson has more interrelated abilities than probably any other current character we have. You really need to understand how they all interact. The uh, fences, you can place 12 nodes and uh, you can use these in any permutation you want. Part of why we sort of uh, went with the, her being such a brilliant electrical engineer is because we really wanted to reinforce both mechanically and thematically how creative the player can be with these. Um, basically, we're just giving you free reign to place these however you want and figure out and the, the And most. the players, they, like, I just saw right there, I don't know if that was intentional, so the, when the, your teammates go through, it shuts yeah, down. Yeah, it so shuts off. So if I'm downed mm -hmm. and they run through the gate, does the gate deactivate? Yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So there's a lot of different interactions, a lot of different ways that you can uh, interact with the gates with other characters. Uh, the ultimate is, uh, we call it an interception pylon. It shoots down bombardments, incoming grenades, uh, stops arc star spam, um, and it charges your team's shield. And it also, if uh, Watson's cooldown is slower when she's away from the pylon, but when you're near the pylon, it supercharges your your tactical so you get fences faster so if you drop it down it's uh it's a it's a permanent structure until it's destroyed and uh that allows you to build uh these large fortresses very rapidly and you can use that for defending for flank control on offensive squads for going up on a tower and fencing it off with pathfinder and then the passive is that ultimate accelerants uh give you your ultimate 100 percent ultimate charge and so if you save up uh, ultimate accelerants over the course of the match that allows you to place more pylons and it means that you don't have to play conservatively as Watson as long as you save up ultimate charges you can keep moving with a with a highly mobile squad you can play offense defense support however you feel like the fences and the pylon are, are most effective to whatever comp you're playing so what you're telling me here is that lifeline mains do not need to continuously hold ultimate accelerants anymore we, we that was that was we felt like we needed to rejoice that's right <laughs> We did it, people. Oh, yeah. So yeah. if any enemies cross through the, pens, uh, the fences, it pings your entire squad. So there's a, 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 a situational awareness element to them as well. Wow. Um, and so, if you know, so this is why like, she grew up in the arena. If you yeah. know where all the choke mm -hmm. points, the entrances, the exits are, you can set up yeah. fences there, and you'll know exactly when an enemy yeah. crosses. I mean, okay, so as you saw, like, her abilities are basically she's got fences that she can add 12 nodes to, um, placed any direction or any combination you want. Um, she gets the pylon, which destroys any incoming grenades, arc stars, etc, etc. And what was her passive again? Her passive is the all excellence. Um, she can use, basically I think it gives her 100% boost if I, I picked up right. So if she uses an all excellence instead of being like 20-25%, it gives her the full 100%. Um, so she can put more pylons, another time, there must be another 12 pylons back down again, as far as I worked out. Um, so yeah, it seems seems like it's going to be quite a good character, and um, we just need to wait and see what comes. So that's it. That's what we've got for season two of Apex Legends. Battle charge. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you're thinking about it. And if you liked the video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.